Hello and welcome to the special edition of Spellbound. I'm your host, 32 Bits. So I just got this package in today and I'm really excited to share um, what's in it with you. Um, what is inside this box is one of a limited run of TF330 cards. And what this is, is an accelerator card. Um, not an expansion, not unlike the the TF uh, three twenty eight that I already have in one of, in my CD thirty two, but this is as you see up here, it is a TF three thirty. Board gives us this uh, it's fifty megahertz O three O processor, uh, sixty four megs of RAM, and an IDE connector. This uh, does plug into the same backplane that the um, the Terrible Fire three twenty eight did. Um, that's the same board that I have in my PAL uh, CD32. Um, in the um, NTSC CD32, I have an, an SX32, which is a, an expansion module. But in this uh, PAL version, the one I just changed the, uh, the window in, um, I have got a um, Terrible Fire 328. That gave me 8 megs of RAM um, and the IDE connection. And it also has the backplane that connects to this that gives us um, video out um, and a <clears throat> A keyboard connection. This expansion gives us as a 50 megahertz 030, 64 megs of RAM, and um, an IDE connector. It connects to the CD32 via backplane. Um, I used a Kipper 2K um, a version of the backplane to connect my um, Terrible Fire 328, and this will use that same backplane. So here's the um, the 328. And you may or may not know, but remember, but this expansion gave us eight eight megs of RAM, um, IDE connection, and um, and what we were able to do with that is connected to the to this backplane, and the backplane gives us um, video out and a uh, keyboard connector. So I've gone ahead and pulled the uh, 328 from the uh, CD32, right from back here. And I'm going to go ahead and mount the 330 onto the, the riser. I'm also going to obviously swap the, um, the IDE to compact flash adapter and put that on here. And so I should be able to, so I will be able to boot my, um, my workbench from it. Um, so again, this is a pretty easy swap. I'm just going to swap the, um, the ID connector. I have it in this little plastic bag just to make sure nothing shorts. And then, uh, so I'll connect that onto the uh, ID connector here. Slot this into the top slot here and put it back into the CD32. So it booted right up, very happy about that. And as you can see right there, I've got all that memory. So exciting. All right, so let's go ahead and watch System Info and see what that says. Here we go. In uh, System Info, you can see this is my um, my semi-stock uh, CD32, my NTSC. It does have an SX32 in it, but that's the non-pro version, so I don't get an upgrade in the CPU. As you can see, it's running in uh, an O2 at 15 uh, megahertz. And uh, when I run the speed test, I'm getting a 2.94 MIPS. And over here, um, this is my PAL CD32, and with the uh, terrible, the new Terrible Fire TF330 card, you can see that it's um, listed as a an O3L running at 51 megahertz, and I am getting a 7.88 MIPS. So that is. <laughs> 
that is a huge jump from 2.9, so just about 3, to 7.8, so we're just about 8. So, um, so it'd be really interesting to see, um, you know, in real world performance, how much better uh, these two machines are going to, you know, work. We've got the, o the O2 over here at... Uh, 15 and the 03 over here at uh, 51. So here we have uh, personal paint loaded up on both of these machines and I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, fill test. We're going to fill the whole screen um, with uh, black. Um, they're, both at, they're both full of red now and I'm going to try to click them both at the same time upper left hand corner and see what the difference in speed is. And you can see that was a big difference in speed. Let's try once more. I'll go ahead and switch to white. And clickable at the same time. And you can see the 030 is just blowing the 020 away. running Amiga Intuition based benchmark and um, we're going to go ahead and run the beach ball test. Start it there and here. And you can see on the left that's the um, the 030 and on the right is the 020. And you can see uh, just how much faster CD32 is with the Terrible Fire I'm purposely not speeding the video up so that you can see what it looks like real time. O3O is finished and the OTO is not quite half done yet. And you can see the comparison chart here. Um, there's us on the left. Only thing that's beating us in the chart there is an, an 040 4000. Meanwhile, the 020 is still chunking away. I pause the video and wait until that's done, and then we'll see the result. And it's just finished. And you can see the results there. About where you would expect it. Um, this is us here on the O O twenty, um, you know, above the twelve hundred, but below the three thousand, far below the four thousand. Again, if I just back up here, you can see the comparison. This is the Terrible Fire three thirty. This is the SX thirty two with just the RAM expansion. So stock. CPU, O two O, and you can look at the time here. Um, that test took one hundred and seventy seven seconds, one hundred and seventy eight seconds to seventy one here. Okay, let's run a couple other tests. Okay, I'm interested to see what the memory test looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and start it here and here. Okay, on first blush, I mean, they look pretty good. But you can see here, when you look at the scale, you're up to 11 here, and only up to 7 here. Um, here's the uh, A3000 with the highest bar, up near 7, 
And then here is us. Hope you're 11. Um, our result here is 12.97, 97.20. That is with the uh, RAM expansion and the SX32, 8 gigs of RAM there, versus the 64 gigs of RAM in the, um, the TF330. Okay, now we're going to try the flops. Okay, um, and again, just what we would expect. Here we are here. 3.4. This is on the stock. And here we are here. Looks like just over 9. Again, in comparison to the um, the Omega 4000, double double the spec there, as opposed to the um, the stock OTO on the on the CD32. This is the matrix test. I clicked them both both at the same time, and the the Turbo Fire um, 330 you know finished almost instantly and you can see here um, this is no you know uh, in comparison to an Omega 4000 and this is us here and here's the 4000 here on the stock O2O and then here's us here again if you can see in comparison the TF330 stock so now we're doing the line test. And subjectively, it looks actually faster on the stock. And it is. Okay, so the result is uh, 1463 there and only 1022 there. So here we are um, on the graph. on the uh, 330, the Terrible Fire 330, and here we are on the graph on the stock O2O. Now, I'm chalking that up to the fact that this is an NTS machine, and this is a PAL machine, and I believe that the, if I remember correctly, um, the graphics chips actually run faster on the NTS machine. <clears throat> so that's probably what's going on there with the line um, with the line test, if you if somebody knows something that I don't know as far as that goes, like why that would be, I mean, we're only we're only uh, in, uh, increasing the speed of the CPU um, with the um, the TF three thirty, so not really affecting the graphics subsystem. So I think that that's what's going on. This one's a lot faster because it's NTSC versus PAL. If I remember correctly, the um, the NTSC. Um, version of the chips of the graphic chip runs faster um, if some if I'm you know I might be wrong <laughs> I, I'm, I'm no expert but I remember reading something about that where even like some games uh, NTSC run faster and it's because the uh, custom graphic chips run faster and in, in, on the NTSC machines um, if you would know if you know of another reason that that might be the case or um, you know it's not that or I'm mistaken if you would leave a comment uh, below that'd be great um, yeah let me know uh, what you what your what your thoughts are there okay and last test I'm gonna run is dry stones and as we would expect um, this is us on the stock Getting result number of uh, 5837. And on the TF330, getting result of 16129. So there you have it. There's um, the Amiga intuition based uh, benchmarks. I haven't run all of them, I just want the ones that, you know, I thought would be 
interesting, you know, show some interesting uh, differences between the two systems. Um, it was interesting that the line um, test uh, came up actually faster on the um, unaccelerated uh, CD32, um, but it is an NTS, uh, NTSC version uh, of the CD32, so I think that's what's going on there. Um, but all in all, all the other tests uh, clear far and away the uh, the the TF330 was just blowing um, the doors off of the uh, the stock CD32 as as you would expect. Um, so you know the card lived up to the hype um, and lived up to my expectations. Uh, it's really great. I'd love to going to do some uh, more benchmarking um, later on with some games. Um, if you have a suggestion of uh, you know some games or things I should run through it. Um, you know between the two. Um, let me know. I'm also thinking of swapping the two. Uh, swapping the um, uh, putting the uh, the 330 in the NTSC and putting the SX32 into the PAL uh, and see and then running those um, those results again. Or maybe just um, running the uh, line test with the unaccelerated versions of both of these just to see if um, you know if the um, the fact that one's uh, PAL versus NTSC um, is the reason that that's uh, that that uh, test is higher on the stock anyway um, hope you enjoyed this video I had a really great time making it I'm excited to continue uh, testing um, so if you liked it please uh, make sure to like and subscribe hit the bell for notifications and uh, thank you again for watching